Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha Izundu if you haven't been here before and if you have, welcome back. So here's just a little intro to my declutter series. I'm not sure exactly how many parts I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna see how I go along the way, but I'm gonna have the same intro for each video. So welcome. Uh, if you're new here, check out some of my videos. Like if you enjoy my declutters, subscribe as well. And let's get right into it. Today we're doing a lipstick declutter. So as you can see, it's a little bit chaotic. Um, I've got a box here to put all my donated items into. Some will have to be thrown out just because they're so old. Um, but I'm going to go through everything. I'm not going to swatch everything, but I'm going to swatch a few with you. Um, so we can see what I love and what I don't love. I'm going to start with my project pans because I want to put them back. So here we have... And I will be keeping these because they're in my project pan. Uh, here we have the They're Real from Benefit Lip. It's just like a tinted lip balm kind of situation. We have my favorite liquid lip from Lime Crime in the shade Red Velvet. And I'll show you this. I actually have two of these. Yeah. So I put one in my project pan. I accidentally bought two. <laughs> but it's just like this perfect red. I absolutely love it. And I love the quality of the Lime Crime Liquid Lipsticks. Here we just have a gloss from Live Glam. It was, it was a, I don't know if it still exists, but I have a few of their products you'll see. This is just a clear gloss with some glitter in it. Uh, this was a lip subscription service that I did for a couple of months and acquired too many lip products in those few months that I had it. And then here we have MAC in Rebel, which is one of my all-time favorite lipsticks. It's like a beautiful bluey, pinky, purple. I just love it, so that as well. I think I might start with my lipsticks and then that'll free up some space for any of these to go in. What I had as organization was like liquid lips, lip creams and lip glosses here because they're more longer. And this is a shallow drawer. So I had lipstick standing and these lying down. This is just an empty box so that they don't all fall back and I don't see what I have. Uh, so I'm gonna take all of these out and we're gonna go through them. So change of plan, I'm actually going to go through these first and then put the bracket in and do the lipsticks um, just because this is just a lot. So <laughs> um, I'm going to start with one I just bought. I haven't even used yet. It's still in the, actually I've tried it. I used it once. It's the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb Heat in Hot Cherry. I've never used a lip plumper before and it made my lips burn which I'm not supposed to, but I love ready kind of sheer glosses. So um, that's gonna leave a red mark on my hand because it makes the blood rush to the surface. Um, but yeah, really pretty. So that is new that I will be featuring soon in a new video. Okay, let's just deep dive into maybe glosses and lip balms first, I think. So here we have a Fenty Mini in Fussy that I will be keeping. I love this one. We have... This is from Kaleidos. This is the Lucid Lip in Dramatize, and I love this one too. It looks really intense and red in the bottle, but it's this beautiful sheer... It's so pretty on the lips. Lip gloss. This gives a slight tint without it being colored. This is my everyday lip balm I have in my bag. So this is from the brand Say Seymour, which is a K-beauty brand my friend bought me in South Korea. And I haven't got much left to go. It's just a really good lip balm with a slight tint of pink. And I just use it for every day. Here we have from Mecca Cosmetica, which is an Australian brand. And this is a beautiful Beautiful glossy lip balm, lip gloss, lip balm kind of uh, mix. And it's so pretty. I love that one. Here we have, this one's really old. I'm trying to finish this one up. This is from L'Oreal. I think it's from L'Oreal. Yeah, 101 
Rose Melody. It's a lip gloss, but it is the prettiest, most comfortable wearing lip gloss. And I know it's really old, but I'm trying to finish it and I just, just love it. Here we have one from Kiko Milano. Uh, this is really old, but it is also one that I'm trying to finish. I go through glosses pretty quickly because I wear them every day. Um, and this one I want to finish because the Fenty Beauty is going to be my replacement for a red gloss. But this formula is my dupe for the Fenty. It is thick and hydrating, but uh, not that sticky thick. It's a very moisturizing thick. And I highly recommend it. I have another one. This one's a, a lot newer. So I'm going to be keeping both of them, but I am close to finishing this one. So that's on a priority. So I have, I always have some in a drawer that I'm trying to finish. And those two are in that drawer. And then we have this one, which is shade number eight. I don't know the shade of this because it's rubbed off, but this is shade number eight. And it's just like a nice nude. They're so pretty. And I think Kiko Milano is in America now. It's still not in Australia, but. So let's pick out some more that I can see. Uh, let's go with this one I'm going to get rid of is a clear gloss from Savvy. Um, you can see it's just a bit gross. Um, and I've got other glosses that I'd rather reach for. So I'm going to actually throw this one out. And Savvy is an Australian brand as well. And I also have this pink one, which I really like the color of. So I'm going to keep this one. Um, and it's a good formula. I think they go for like 4 or $5 at Priceline. So they're really, really affordable and they're really nice glosses. So I'm going to keep that one. I'm going to get rid of this Mecca Max City Slicker Tinted Oil. This is also Australian. Um, I just don't, I'm not a fan of the formula and it's very, very pink. So I'm going to get rid of that one. Uh, this is one of my favorite glosses to the point where I don't use it because I love it so much. It's from Kim Chi Chic uh, Beauty. It is the Wet with Plumper. Oh my God, I do have a plumping lip gloss. Well, there you go. And it is, it does look like it's pink, but it actually comes out clear. And it is, it makes your lips look so juicy. I highly recommend this one. So I keep that one. Okay, these two here I'm going to get rid of. This is uh, from the K-Beauty brand Romand. This little lip gloss here I'm going to give to my daughter. Um, it's just clear with a bit of glitter. So I'm going to give that to her. She's a toddler and she would die over that. So I'm going to give that to her. And then I have this lip tint that I just don't use. So, like it's pretty but I just don't use it, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, here we have another lip oil that I'm gonna get rid of. This is from Revlon. It's the Revlon Kiss Glow Lip Oil in Ready to Glow in number two. And I've really tried to use this. I've actually used it quite a lot. I don't like the formula of it. It's too thin. It doesn't actually moisturize your lips at all. It just feels like you're putting oil on your lips and then it like dries out like that's it so I'm gonna get rid of that one another one I'm gonna get rid of is from Hymish um, I don't wear this is actually really pretty it's just a bit dirty this is really pretty but I just don't wear it and this is the dry rose lip tint like velvet lip tint it's actually so pretty Maybe I'll put it in the maybe because I really like that color. I love reds. I love bright colors as well as my nudes. So I might put that in the maybe section and we'll see how we go. Um, I'm going to keep this NARS gloss in Greek Holiday. Nice, pretty shimmer. Uh, this one I'm going to get rid of from Revolution, Makeup Revolution. I don't know the shade. Oh, here we go. We Rule. It's like a metallic. It's actually, like I don't usually go for metallics, but it's not bad. It's not an intense metallic, but I probably just won't wear it. So I'm going to get rid of that one. This is a favorite of mine from Iliad. This is Petals, the Balmy Gloss Tinted Lip Oil. This is one of the lighter shades. And I love this just for every day. I love, love, love this one. 
to keep that one. Uh, NARS Lip Balm in Fast Lane. This is a mini and I love it. So I'm going to keep that. The NARS Lip Balms are really expensive, but they're so good. And then I also have the Laguna shade, which I think was limited edition. It's like a brown, which is a really cool, unique shade. So I love that one too. Uh, I'm going to keep my NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee. And I'm going to keep my Givenchy Mini, number 16. It looks black, but it comes out like a purpley color. Blacky purple. See, once it shears out, it goes purple. So I'm going to keep that. I'm on the fence about this uh, Furless Cosmetic Convertibles. Just because this brand doesn't exist anymore and it's not the greatest gloss in the world. The problem is the stopper is too tight and not enough product comes out. But it's a really pretty color once it's on the lips. So I might put this in the maybe and we'll see how we go. We have this one from Revo Makeup Revolution. I really like this one. This one's pure. This is like a lip cream gloss. And it's a really pretty shade. So I'm going to keep that one. And then we have this... Oh, the thing I don't like about ColourPop is their writing rubs off. Um, just a tint, I think it's called, and I have the shade. Oh, I don't know. It's like an something with island in it. So I'm going to keep that as well, like a balm. Okay, do I have any more glosses? Just like a lip tint. Oh, we've got two lip tints here. So, because I have another K Beauty one, maybe I'll pick between the two. So, this is from Three Concept Eyes. And this is the style Na Nanda Velvet Lip Tint in Daffodil. So, let's put it up next to this one. Ooh. I don't know. I don't know what to do. This one feels a little bit more mattifying, this one, than this one. I can't make a decision right now because they're very similar. I think I'm actually going to get rid of this one and I'll keep the other one. This one's older as well. Uh, and then I have this other K-Beauty from I'm Meme. And these are like one, two, three, four different. I don't use this, so I'm going to get rid of this. I, have, I, don't, I think I've used it maybe once. So... I'm going to get rid of that as well. I have a lip scrub that I do not use, and honestly, it's quite old. I don't usually use, I don't use lip scrubs. I just um, wear like a sleeping mask at night, and that keeps me hydrated. So I'm actually going to throw this out because it's really old. So that's the one from Frank Body. Um, it's just sugar and coffee, so it's not like anything bad, but I just don't think it does what I want it to do. So I'm going to throw that out. Um, oh, here's another gloss. This is from It Cosmetics in the shade Perfect Nude. It's old. It doesn't exist, but it is oh, so beautiful. I don't know how they did it, but this shade is just so beautiful on the, on the lips. And it's a good formula, so I'm going to keep it and just use it in my own private time. Okay, let's go on to lip creams because I have a few. So here are my lip creams. Let's go and start with NYX. I have four from NYX. They've just brought out a new formula and it's the NYX Lingerie XXL, which I want to pick up. And I have the shades Push Up, Cashmere Silk, Exotic, and Ruffle Trim. Now I'm not going to keep all of these. I'm going to get rid of this ready one that I never wear, which is Exotic. Very pretty. Oh, see, now that I swatch it, I'm like, oh, Sam, you might want that. I'm going to put that in the maybe. Oh, God. Oh, gosh. I've got to get rid of one of these ones. Let's swatch them all. We have Ruffle Trim. Okay. And I have Cashmere Silk. That's pretty. I think I'll definitely keep cashmere silk. Oh, 
Okay, I'm gonna keep push up. I'm gonna get rid of this one, which is ruffle trim. And I'm gonna keep, I think I'm gonna keep this. I don't think I have another color like this. And I like the formula, so I'm gonna keep those three. And then next we have, oh my God, these two look really similar. <laughs> These are from Australis, the Girl Boss Demi Matte Lip Creams, which I love. I probably wear this one the least. Oh my God. Are they not the same color? I'm gonna get rid of this Australis one. Oh my God. And then I use both of these, so I know I'm gonna keep these two. That's a really nice light one. And so that one was called Me, and this one is Empower which I tend to use a tiny bit more. Similar, but different. So I'm gonna keep those. And then these two lip creams are, <sighs> how can I explain this? Perfection. Sydney Grace in Bailey and Claire. The formula of these is perfect. This is one of my most favorite lip products that I own. This one is Bailey. So Sydney Grace is an American indie brand known for their eyeshadows, but their lip creams are so good. This shade, oh my gosh, if you're fair skinned, so good. And then we have Claire, which is more of an orangey. I wanna buy more. Uh, so, cause their shipping is quite high for Australia. I wait for their July Christmas sale, which is when I bought these. And, um, I'm gonna buy more because they're incredible. So I'm gonna keep those. I am partial to a lip cream. Okay, here, then we're gonna go and I'm gonna pick out all my long lipsticks that don't fit in the bracket thing I had here. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. It's a refill. You can see I've got three with lids and two without lids. <laughs> which is super annoying, but I'm gonna get rid of this. I don't think I'm gonna use it. It is, it was from their holiday collection, You Inspire. Uh, but I don't use it, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And then this one is the first time, which I would like to, I think that's too yellow for me. So I think I'm gonna donate that one too. And I think what I've done is I've left the lids on ones that I love the most. So this is I Can't Live Without. Did I mention this is Hourglass? So we've got that one. We have I Live For, which is my favorite. Oh my gosh. I think it's discontinued that one, which really upsets me. And then we have I Believe, which is a pink. They actually have really good nudes, but that nude is too yellow for me, so. Um, instead, I've got these beautiful ones. Uh, here we have ColourPop Lippy Sticks. I just made a ColourPop order, so I should be getting another one of these. This one is Day Trip, and it's considered a matte. But I consider it more of a cream, personally, and I love it. So I keep that one. And then, the, then we have some, like mini lipsticks. Oh, I'll do it here. This is a liquid from NARS that I love and I'm keeping. Star Woman. So I find NARS liquid lips really runny and you have to wear a lip liner with it. And you go on sparingly because it does bleed without a lip liner, but they are so good once they're on. So I'm keeping that one. We have Bare Minerals, unnamed in Bare Pro. Oh, I think my daughter got into this one. Love that, keeping that, and they're, they're matte as well. These are really good um, handbag items. Then these are all Shiseidos. They came in a little set that my friend bought me, and I will be keeping all of them. So we have Slingback. Disrobed. Dark Fantasy. Exotic Red. And 
and rose hip. And the formula of these are so beautiful. They're considered a matte, but they're very comfortable that matte. They're not drying whatsoever. They're really good quality lipsticks. Which is why I am keeping them. So now we're going on to my liquid lipsticks here. I used to have so many more, but I have decluttered over the years. And what I will do is um, I'll have my playlist down below my declutter series and I'll have my previous ones that I did last year um, if you wanted to check that out. But this is what I have left and I will still get rid of a couple. I'm going to get rid of this one. So this is an Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. It's the old packaging and it's not that old to me, but... I think I'm just going to get rid of it because I have lipsticks this color that I prefer. I love dark purple, but this is like almost black. So I'm going to get rid of this one. And, oh, do I want to keep this one? Lime, oh, no, I'll have to clean it anyway. Um, Lime Crime is my favorite liquid lipstick formula that I have tried. So I'm probably going to keep that. <laughs> Uh, this one I'm going to get rid of. This is pumpkin. No, squash, which is the same thing. <laughs> well, kind of. I was keeping this in case I wanted it for like a special occasion, but I'm never going to use it. So I'm going to get rid of it. And then why don't we put them all by brand, huh? I'm definitely going to keep the rest of my Lime Crime. Um, let's look at this brown one. Mm, very similar. This one is in my Shop My Stash, which is also Lime Crime, but it's the Lip Blaze, so it's a lip cream in the shade Moss. I think it's just a little bit darker. I do like to have a brown option, and they're my two brown options. So I'm, I'm going to keep both. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Um, I'm keeping this. That's that one there. It's just in my Shop My Stash. Um, I also forgot to show my plushies. That's in my Shop My Stash from Lime Crime in the shade Lavender Honey. Um, so I'll be keeping this. It's a very pretty, velvety matte, but still sheer lip colour. Um, okay, so then we're going to be keeping Wicked, which is a really dark red. Red Hot, which is a metallic red. This is my Christmas shade. Yes, I don't keep many metallics, but I love that one. Uh, Cupid is the cutest pink. Soft pink. Oh, no, it's the other one I'm thinking of, but this is still really pretty. Uh, we have New Americana, which is also so great. Oh, yes, 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 yes. And Red Velvet, which I showed you in the beginning. That's my second one. This is one of my favorites, True Love. I love this one. That's a flamingo pink. And then we have Rustic which is a cult fave from Lime Crime. And then Faded, which I also love. All right, so they're my Lime Crimes, my babies, my absolute babies. I can't believe that's all I have left. I used to have so many more. <laughs> it's a bit of a problem. Um, this one I've never used. This is from KVD beauty this is in the shade razzle everlasting glimmer veil so i have never because i've never used this i'm going to keep it until i do use it what it uh, that's a very unique shade so yeah i'm going to keep it it is new to me it's not that old bare minerals love this one in matte uh, in the shade boss Love Bare Minerals lip products. You'll see I have a lot. Oh, love that one. NARS uh, lip. This is called a Velvet Lip Glide in the shade Swing. You can see I like cooler tone nudes. 
I have one Too Faced uh, Melted Matte in Cool Girl. I used to not like this, but now I do. It's very drying, but if you, your lips are moisturized, I'm going to get rid of this one. This is really old. The Too Faced Melted Longwear Lipstick in Chihuahua. It's just too old. I was trying to finish it. I love the colour, but I think it's time to go. And that is... Oh, no, I didn't do this one, did I? And then we have the Live Glam in Venice. Oh, I might get rid of this one. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of this one. I don't even think this exists anymore, so... Oh, I need to take everything out and clean it and create some space and we'll go through my lipsticks. Okay, let's go into lipsticks. One that is going to be a maybe, it's in my shop, my stash for the for this two next weeks, is because I want to see if I want to keep it or not, is the NYX Crave Matte Lipstick. And I love the colour, but I never reach for it. So I want to play with it to see how I feel. So that's going to be a maybe. Well, actually, it's a keep for now because it's in my shop, my stash, isn't it? Um... So I'm going to do a bit of organization. I'm going to do drugstore and then high end. I do go by brand. Um, so let's start with Maybelline, which I had here before anyway. And we're going to start with the nudes. I have Sultry Sand, um, which is in my shop, my stash. So I'm going to be keeping this one very, very light. Um, I wear this one with a lip liner. So I have to. And then we have Brazen beige I'll be keeping all my nudes from Maybelline I think so that's where sultry sand will go I have coffee craze which I love purely nude And Peach Buff, which I love, this one. And then we have more ready ones. I have Almond Rose. I'm going to get rid of that one. Uh, Mo for me. Maybelline actually sent me this whole For Me range. I'm going to keep that one, Mo For Me. Then we have Pink For Me. And I'm going to keep that one. Then we have On The Mauve. I'm going to get rid of that one. I'm going to declutter that. Uh, we have Plum for me. I'm going to get rid of that one. I have others that I prefer. Fuchsia for me. Oh, I like that one. I keep that one. Red for me. So I've got three reds. I'm going to swatch them all and see how I feel. Uh, Ruby for me. And Red Revival. Oh, this one's old. I'm going to chuck that one out. I'm going to throw that one. 
So between these two, oh, what will I do? I kind of want them all to be together in one row, if I'm being honest. And they're getting too far back that I can't reach them. Oh no, I think I might keep both. They're quite pretty. So I'll do that. And then I really want to cut down this next range that I have. So let's go, yeah, let's just do that for now. So the next range I want to show you is from Ulta 3, which is an Australian affordable brand. Now, a couple of days ago, they emailed me and told me that I won a competition that I entered. And so I can pick out some more products and these are quite old. So I'm going to keep a couple and then throw the rest out and maybe repurchase some of them because they're really good. They're like four or five dollars each if you want like a good Australian affordable lipstick. Um, but for that reason, lucky me, I'm going to pick out some new ones. So um, you can see I've used a lot of them quite a bit. So this is Forever Fawn. I'm going to swatch them all and then pick what I'm going to keep. We have Sandalwood. They have really good nudes. Their nudes are better than their colours in my opinion. I decluttered most of the colours. Vanilla Kisses. I think I'm going to get rid of Vanilla Kisses. They're very similar to my Maybelline. This one is one of my favourites. Fire Breather. Love that one. I'm definitely going to keep that one. Uh, we have Cute Pink. I think I'm going to get rid of that one. And then we have Brown Sugar, which is one of my all-time favourites. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to declutter it and I'm going to buy a new one. I almost finished it. But I'm going to buy a new one because I love this one so, so much. It's like a really thin matte formula. Uh, which I really, really like because it is long wearing, but it doesn't feel heavy on the lips. So I'm going to, I'm going to throw it out, but I will repurchase it. And then we have these two, which I love, which were these two here. I think I will keep both for now and I might buy, replace them. I'm scared that it's been discontinued <laughs> and that I can't buy it. You know what? I'm going to take it out because I would like to buy some fresh ones. They're quite well, well used and I love, love, love them. So I'm going to throw them out actually. And I'm just going to keep this one because I love this one. Uh, so that is very good. I'm doing much better than I thought with that. One that I'm keeping that I'm trying to finish up is from Savvy. It's in my shop, my stash, and I've almost finished it. And it's like the perfect pink for me. I love it. The shade is pretty pink. And so my goal is to finish this one. So I'm going to keep that. Then we're going to move on to e.l.f. I have, oh, actually, no, we're going to do my two L'Oreal. Yes, I always mix up L'Oreal and um, Mabel and L'Oreal and... Revlon for some reason. So I'm going to keep both of these. I love them. I've got uh, Like a Boss. These are the Color Shine. Color Riche Shine. And they're stunning. I love them. So if you want like a bold color but you don't want to go too bold. And then we have High on Craze. And I love this one too. So pretty. Really comfortable to wear. All right, let's get on to my two elf. I have persimmon. Look at my poor hand, which I'm going to keep. Can you tell I like orange? And then I have cider, which I'm on the fence about. Oh, yeah, now I'll keep that. It's not as dark as I thought it was. And then let's do a random... Everything else I have is more high end. Do I have a random one I can put in here? Let's put my Winky Lux in here that I love. This is in the shade Dirty Love, I think. It's called a Lip Velour. I don't even know if this exists anymore, but I love it so much. It's like a terracotta 
brownie orange shade. It's just stunning. So I'll put that in there. And remember, I've got my Maybelline that's in my shop mustache that goes there. One I'm definitely going to keep is from RMS Beauty. This is Rapture. I am obsessed with this one. Oh, shouldn't have done that over my knuckle. It's like a brick red. That's the only way I can describe it. And it looks phenomenal. Uh, next I have Cossus. We'll go my two clean beauty brands in dark room. I just wore this in a previous video, which I will link if you want to see that. And they are the most beautiful lipsticks, I tell you what. Then we have Inglot. Oh, I'm going to get rid of this one. I don't wear Inglot anymore. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of that one. That was number 175. Huda Beauty Spring Break, my only Huda. My daughter accidentally was playing with my makeup and chopped the tip off. But I love that colour, so I'm going to keep that. They're a bit thick though, they barely fit in. So I might put it, if I do that and I take it out, yeah, let's put it there. Okay. Laura Mercier, I have one and it is in Rose Rouge and I love this one, so I'll be keeping that. Such a beautiful colour. And then I have one Tom Ford, which is my one of my favourite lipsticks of all time in the Ultra Shine Lip Colour Number Bear of oh, Number. One Bear. This was my wedding day lipstick. And then we have spots for three. Okay, and I think it might be my Mac because I have four and I know I'm going to get rid of one. So I'm going to get rid of this one, not because I don't like it, but because it's so old. You can see I tried to clean it and then I gave up. <laughs> it's just got that material that anything sticks to it, that matte kind of material. This was the collab with Cannot Remember because it's wiped off. And it is Victoriana. It's actually oh, so beautiful, but it's also so old. So I'm going to throw it out, which makes me very sad. Very sad, but I have to. Uh, then we have Hearts of Flame. Love me a Mac. I'm going to keep my Macs. We have Sweet Succulents. This is what I was saying. I have purples that I really like. So Sweet Succulents and Rebel are my two favourite purples. And then I have Sin. Oh, that's like a purpley as well. Oh, yes. Purpley red. So we'll keep those. Okay, let's go on to my Lime Crime. Because these are kind of old too. So we have Geranium and Varsity. I kind of want to keep it. I want to keep Geranium. But Varsity, I'm going to get rid of Varsity. Lime Crime was my first makeup brand that inspired me and got me into makeup. I just adore them so much. But I think I'm going to get rid of that because I have another shade that I kind of kept. Lipstick Queen, another brand, Lime Crime and Lipstick Queen. I love lipstick. It's like my thing. And this is very cut down for me. I keep decluttering because, you know, lipsticks, they, they expire quicker than other products. So I feel like I have to be a little bit more strict. But Lipstick Queen was very inspirational to me. She's an Australian who just boomed in America. Not so much now, but when she first started. Okay, so this is in the shade Saint Bordeaux. I will be keeping. I love both of these. And then I have Chaotic Coca, which is like, it's hard to see, but it's got like a marble effect in it. Can you see that? It's not actually dirty. It's a marble effect. It's pretty cool. And so I'm going to keep that one as well. Let's do Bite Beauty. So I have the Multi Stick and Charisse Fresh Hand. <laughs> So this is Charisse, multi-stick. I'm going to do that as a maybe. I want to swatch them all first. Then we have 
Heather, which is a buttercream lipstick. These are the old formulas. Oh, I like this one. I'm keeping this one. That's a good one. We have Cotton Candy, which is a, a Mousse Bouge. Yeah, I like that one. I'm going to keep that one. Fiano. I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep this one. Yeah. Very sheer, but I like it. And that was a luminous cream lipstick. I've got one of everything. And then this is another multi-stick in cocoa. Um, I think I'm gonna get rid of both of the multi-sticks. They're not my cup of tea anymore. My three Urban Decay. I have Dis Disturbed. Oh my God, I love that. I love Urban Decay lipsticks. Definitely gonna keep back talk. You can see it's been a fave. Oh my God, I just love the formula. Comfort matte. And then heat, which is a metalized. Oh, am I gonna keep this one? I kind of really like it though. Yeah, like this one and the liquid lip that I have, the Red Hot, I like my two metallic products that I actually like. But it doesn't fit perfectly in here, which is really annoying. Unless I take this out. Yeah, let's do that. And that fits better. Let's do my NARS next. I have this one I'm going to get rid of. So I bought this when I was having a really bad day. It, is the, it was the Studio 54 collection, Christmas collection. And this is in the shade Debbie. And I bought it for this overspray, right? But the lipstick itself is a metallic that I don't like. It's purple with gold glitter and it just doesn't work. So I'm going to get rid of it and it's really sad that... Why did I buy this? Why did I buy this? Do not shop when you're sad. Then uh, let's go into one of my favourites, which is Anita. Love Anita. And this was in their special holiday packaging, I think it was. Then we have Cruising, which is a sheer... Their sheer lipsticks are so nice, but they look disgusting. So I'll keep cruising. We have, I wish I were the tiniest bit taller. Like, I don't know. That's a really bad complaint. Um, she app is one of my, oh, no, no. I'm going to save this one. I am not getting rid of she app. It's one of my favorites. Oh, no. But I'm not letting her die. She will not die. Damage, which is a sheer, and she app was a matte. See, look how disgusting they look. Yeah, I'm going to keep that. And then I have Bad Reputation, which is a satin. Beautiful. Love it. And that is everything. So I'm going to put geranium there. And I have really decluttered. Let me show you everything I got rid of. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I've got three to go. These are my bare minerals. So they're going to fit there perfectly. So I'm going to put that one there. We have Sex Pot, which is from... I don't know what range that is. It looks really weird on my hand, but I actually love it. It's quite sheer. Then we have from their new uh, mineralis Mineralist Hydro Smoothing Lipstick in Energy. Love it. And Inspiration. Which is also beautiful. They're really comfortable to wear. Okay, so that is it. That is everything. All right, so this is everything that I got rid of, which is quite a lot. Considering what I have here, I think I did well. If you saw my um, eyeshadow declutter, I didn't do that well, but I did pretty well here. Let me count them all out and give you a little comparison. All right, so I just counted how many I've kept, and I'm keeping exactly 90 in here. I've got a couple in my shop. Actually, no, it's more because I've got my shop mustache. And I forgot about these, 99. I'm going to declutter this one. And I totally forgot I bought a new lipstick, which will make it exactly 100. It's from NARS. 
and it is one of the mats, Tor Pour Toujours, I think it, it's called. So that'll make it exactly 100. That's actually pretty satisfying. So let me show you this one. She's untouched. Look at that. Okay. That's exactly 100. In which case, these have to go here. And my NARS will continue. So I've kept 100. And then I am thrown out and going to donate some to friends and family. 31. So we're looking at a 30% reduction. Not bad. Not bad considering lipstick is my main obsession. Lipstick and foundation is my sick obsession. You'll see when I do my foundation um, declutter. Watch this space. Um, let me know what you think, how I went. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe so you can watch my new ones. And remember I have my previous videos listed down below in the playlist. I have previously done the eyeshadow this year and then I have more to come. This is my second one. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.